going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball on the Sons of Wrestling for a WWE Battleground review. Now, I just finished up the match with Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt. And wow, what a shock. Were you guys shocked that Chris Jericho came out of this victorious and only with a code breaker victory? I do not, did not see that coming, did not predict that. And uh, if, if anything, I figured if Chris Jericho were to win, it would have been multiple code breakers, you know, something like along those lines. But just one, I don't know, does this make Bray Wyatt look weak now? Um, is it going to lead to the separation of him and Luke Harper and Eric Rowan? Um, and where does Chris Jericho go next? What's next on his plate? Who shall he feud with next? What's going on, guys? Comment below. Give me your predictions. We'll talk about that. And um, Bray Wyatt, where does he go from here? Um, who's next? Or will it be continue on with, Bray, with Chris Jericho? Bray Wyatt, Jericho at SummerSlam? Will it be? Because it looks like everything on this pay-per-view is so far leading up to unfinished business that these feuds can continue on into Raw and in the next coming weeks toward SummerSlam. So that's my predictions here. Almost every single match has that feel. So guys, comment below, give me a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter at Rob Kimball brand and continue watching the show on WWE Network and uh, if you want some cool wrestling shirts that they don't make that I do go to sonsofwrestling.com click on the t-shirts and there you go there's some cool shit on there you can actually buy a Roman Reigns shirt for me or the new Vince Russo Sopranos edition that Vince Russo may be putting into his own store here soon after I exchange emails with him so guys I'll catch you throughout the night the battle royal is about to begin right now stay tuned Peace.